Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and we're trying to do a little bit more vlogging, but kind of tied into all the stuff that we've been doing. So in this video, I am heading to the store to use some of the profits that thankfully have been made here on YouTube, and we're gonna invest in our sound. And we're gonna look at picking up a new sound system, a mic system, to tie into the A10 Mini and my phone and all the other stuff that I do to make sound better in the videos that I produce for y'all. So let's head to the store. So in my current setup, what I'm normally using is my Rode video mic and having that hooked up to um, now the A10 Mini. Originally it was my camera, which was routed into my A10 Television Studio HD um, or just directly into my camera, which feeds into OBS when I'm doing games. And that's been working fine, but when it comes to um, different type of recording events it doesn't really help because it picks up a whole lot of ambient noise and that's not something I want to do so when I heard about and saw the review and the release of the Rode um, wireless go um, I just thought that would be a great solution and thankfully I'm at a place now to where um, business can actually take care of it so this is a business investment so we're gonna go up here and they have one here locally so I'm gonna pick that up and <laughs> we'll go from there I, again I think this is really cool because it allows to hook up to a phone can hook up to a camera as well as the ATEM so it's very versatile and it's tiny so I think that's gonna help a lot when it comes to just upping the audio game because honestly when it comes to videos yeah your picture is important but people will only tolerate a video but so much if the if the audio is bad and I've gotten many a comment about sometimes when my audio is not balanced so hopefully this will make it a lot easier so I can just clip it on my shirt and go from there so let's roll into Best Buy and let's pick one of these things up I don't think most people are buying these like this so they should have plenty of them here so let's go There it is. And it's the last one. <laughs> Alright, so due to a banking little snafu, I ended up having to buy it <laughs> online um, through PayPal. And now I have to wait an hour <laughs> until it gets processed, even though <laughs> the guy is holding it for me. And I have to wait for Best Buy System to pick it all up and for them to just say, hey, the guy that's standing right in front of here bought it. <laughs> so anyway, let me do some reading for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes until I get the confirmation that I can pick it up. And then we're going back inside. And then we'll be playing with this new mic. All right, one hour later and we got it. So let's go ahead and get back to the house and get this all set up. All right, folks, so we are back from the store after <laughs> waiting in the parking lot for an hour, and we got the Rode Wireless Go. So let's go ahead and open this up, and let's see what is inside. Get my keyboard out of the way. So I'd already removed all the tape and stuff like that, because it looked like it was going to be a hassle to open up. Like it is right now. <laughs> All right, so let's see. All right, so it comes with a quick guide. It's actually built into the box, which is kind of cool. Um, USB, there's the mic, there's the battery, there's the link, power, power, LCD, headphone out that goes into the a10 mini which I'm gonna be plugging into right here or the camera and another USB and these are both USB C so and man these things are super super tiny this is stuck to something oh, let me just take the whole box out 
Oh, that's cool. It has a little, little wind protector on there. Two of those. There's the connector cable that's going to connect to the back of here or to the phone. Some silica that we don't need. Another little book. And a carrying case, which is cool. Oh, it was clipped on. So, all right, here's the first one. And it was actually already on. Okay. Well, did I turn it on? I think I might have turned it on. All right, so here's the receiver which will plug into the ATM all right so let's unclip the other one so this is the main one that's going to be clipping on like right here okay there's the mic and there's the little indentations there where the wind protector could snap on all right and I was wondering how was did I did I have enough USB C's thankfully they give you two of those to charge these and even when I was buying this at Best Buy the salesman there um, was raving and reviewing um, you know giving props to this whole thing because he went and bought one himself um, when it was first announced and he was saying that when it says that the battery lasts for six hours he was like the battery lasts for six hours so I am excited to test this out and like right now I'm using my road shotgun right now but we will be once these get charged we will be cutting over to those and seeing how everything goes but you know what? let me cut back over here and like I said I'm not gonna use it right now but I would hope this is kind of obvious but hey that's what we're here for so this is gonna plug into plug it into there and then we're plugging into mic input number two. And there we go. And it has intelligent technology that they say to keep the bridge between both of these. Um, that's what they really talked about it. Um, so I'm going to test that out. But let me go ahead and plug this into my quick charger. And it looked like it didn't plug in all the way. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's what we're going to be using this for. And let's go ahead and charge this and then we're gonna test these out so I let this charge and I know that it is at least at 50% so it's more than enough for me to actually test this out so let's go ahead and connect this and the one with the LCD is the one that we're gonna connect to here The button on the bottom is power. Yep. All right, that one's on, and now we are going to turn on this one. Here are our lights. Let's see if it finds the signal. I think it does. Yeah because I'm seeing the bar showing my talking back on here. So that's cool. So let's turn this on. And I'm going to switch over to me talking on this. So let's go ahead and get this clipped on. And then what we're gonna do is let's bring up the ATEM software. And I have way too many windows open here. shirt is sagging <laughs> where I have it obviously I'm not gonna have it like this it'll probably be hidden the other way Put it in there. all right so I'll be more hidden from here all right and still hanging out I'm trying to see on this camera here all right so and I'm not in focus all right so I have this here Kind of close to where I'm at, which is going to be more ideal for this. And if I cut over to my computer, 
All right, bringing up the Atom software. Now let's go over to audio. And I still had this set as dual channels, which I need to fix. I don't want one channel for here. And just in comparison, obviously how close the mic is to me, you're seeing just how well this is actually um, coming in. So that is really cool. And why is my, oh, I was gonna say, how come I don't see my picture in picture? <laughs> but anyway, so you're seeing this and that is getting some very, very good levels. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna turn off the regular shotgun and I'm gonna turn on the other sound. So if we do that now, we're transitioning. All right, so now we are on the Rode Wireless Go, and this seems very loud, so let me back this down some to about right here, and this is my normal speaking volume. So let me know what y'all think about this in a sound type of standpoint. Um, I'm really liking this. Um, let me get back over to my scene over here so that y'all can see me here. So I'm liking this so far um, from a sound standpoint. Just, I mean, if I just look back over here at how I had my regular sound, the shotgun is still on. That's me tapping the mic and you're seeing how it's being read. But even from a shotgun standpoint, I mean, this thing is maybe about a foot away from my face and you're seeing how it is. But again, with this wireless, is right there so I'm really liking this I'm gonna check back to see what the audio sounds like but that is um, just a look into the Rode Wireless Go so I think I'm gonna have a lot better sound with this and it's rated to have um, you can use eight of these in the vicinity so it won't be type of um, conflict with other ones if somebody else was using this but that also opens up the door to where we have the ability to have in other ones so i actually left it in the car but i have my um a y splitter here so if i had another one if i actually had like three i can hook this up and go back into the software and do that split here to to have the um, left and right channels come in if need be and then um, so that opens up that I, I mean, this is possible to have more of these. I was getting ready to say how I was thinking, how would this work if I had more than just one? But I mean, it's really cool. And I'm really looking forward to fully testing out the sound. So in the next couple upcoming videos, this is what you're gonna be hearing from a sound standpoint. So um, that's about it. Um, really straightforward. I like the pack. I'm not using the wind um shields or nothing like that yet but when i'm doing more stuff outside it'll be cool i actually have this usb dongle for my phone so i will be because this is so small i'm gonna especially when i'm in the car and doing stuff like that i'm gonna start using this on my phone just to see what the quality is like as well too so i will leave a link in the description for those who are interested in this now the other thing um, I'm talking about was thinking if you're in a small church and I granted I know this is $200 but you got to think if you have something like this and you can put something like this on your pastor and this could almost <laughs> I know that the professional sound people are probably going <laughs> to kill me after this but the idea is I can almost see in this being plugged in if you like in a small um, sanctuary type of thing and you need a, a mic I think this might work as well too um, let me know in the comments if y'all are using something like this at your church I'd love to know um, maybe when I get a chance I might try and hook this up to my sound system at church and see how it sounds but anyway like I said there's a link in the description for this if you are interested in it and that's about it so if you like this type of content I appreciate a like consider subscribing and hit that bell that way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video. Later.